of all, we need to understand something. The God of this Bible is the God of Israel. He is not the God of every nation. He is not concerned with other nations. You know. The only reason that these nations have any prosperity is because the children of God are rebellious. That's right. They will not listen or hear the laws of God. My brother, get a flight from uh, get a flight from Big Man, brother, and come and talk to me for a minute. Because if you believe in the Bible, that's what we're here to teach. We're here to teach our people the truth about the Bible. Right. Right. Go back to John eight thirty two. Go back to that. Hey, my brother, I want you to listen to this real quick. Listen to this. This is the book of John, chapter eight and verse thirty two. Check it out, bro. Check it out. And ye shall know the truth. I and the truth shall make you free. I understand, brother. But what you, hey, take a fly from him, brother. Bro, yeah, you good, you good, brother, you good. All right, yeah, hey, man, we all got to work. But if we are the kings of this earth, are we supposed to be working? Are we supposed to be ruling? Bring it out. What did God intend for us to do? Right. Who, did, who did God intend for the black man to be on this planet? Right. Why are we at the bottom? Or have we been at the bottom so long that this is normal life? That's right. Have we been here so long that we think that this is normal? Go back. Go to Baruch chapter 2. Let's start at verse 28. We have to identify ourselves in the Bible. The Bible is not a book of religion. This is your history. Read what you got. Hey, my brother, get a fly for big man for me. Let my man give you a fly, my brother. Give him a fly, bro. Because we are here to teach you, brother, that you are the God of the earth. Right. But there's a reason. There's a reason why you're going into a store to buy chicken from somebody that don't cook good as black people. Right, right beside a place where our babies die every day. Bring it out. Read. This is the book of Baruch, chapter 2 and verse 28. As thou spakest by thy servant Moses, in the day when thou didst command him to write thy law before the children of Israel. To write thy law before who? Before the children of Israel. So let's understand something. The laws of God were written to the children of Israel. Right. This is not a book of religion. God gave us his laws. He also gave us the judgment for breaking them. Read. Say, if ye will not hear my voice, surely this very great multitude shall be turned into a small number. Read that again. Say, if you will not hear my voice. So God said, if we won't listen to him, if we won't listen to him, what is he going to do? Surely, this very great multitude. We came out of Egypt. Hey, my brother. Hey, my brother over there. Hey, when we came out of Egypt, we were a great multitude. My sister, when we came out of Egypt, we were a great multitude. Read. This very great multitude shall be turned into a small number. You are going to be turned into a minority. You are going to be turned into a minority in every land where God scattered you. Now, even though thy forefathers were told by our God that we would number the sand of the sea, now we are a minority everywhere we go. Right. We are told that we are a minority and we are at the bottom of society. Continue to read. This very great multitude shall be turned into a small number among the nations where I will scatter them. For I knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff-necked people. Oh, read that again. Read that again. For I knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff-necked people. The Bible has said that God's people are a stiff-necked People. That's right. We are a stiff necked people, hard headed. Bring it out. We don't want to be told what to do. Let's go. The black woman doesn't want the black man telling her what to do. The black man doesn't want anybody telling him what to do. Bring it out. But that what is that called? That is called order. Right. The black race, we as a race, we do not like order. Hey, sis. That's what we hey, don't like. Hey, my sister. Do you believe in the Bible? You believe in the Bible, sis? Because the Bible is saying something to God's people. The question is, do God's people want to hear what God has to say? Read that again about a stiff-necked people. 
Verse 30. For I knew that they would not hear me. God said he knew you weren't going to listen. That's why we're out here whether you hear, or hear it or whether you forbear. We're going to give you thus saith the Lord. But God has already said, I know they won't listen. Read. Because it is a stiff-necked people. But God also said there's going to be a remnant. God said, Christ said, my sheep hear my voice. So that's who we're looking for. Where are the sheep, the lost sheep of the house of Israel? Read. But in the land of their captivity, they shall remember themselves. So God said, where well, I sent them, where I scattered them, here you're going to remember who you are. Here you're going to, I want you to, hey, hey, my sister, my brother, how y'all doing? Show them Deuteronomy 28. Sis say, uh, how do we know God exists? Show her things that only God can say is going to happen, and then they happen. Good, sis. All right. Now, before, we, we, we're going to go to the Bible because this is the most important book. But let's say you have questions about the Bible, right? How You have questions about God. Now, do you believe in history? Did you go to school? Right? Okay. Come here for a minute. I want to show you something. Did this happen for real? That actually happened. Whose people was that? Who, whose people is it? No, but who is the victim of those white people? You are right. White people did this, but who did they do it to? They did it to your people, correct? They did it to your people, my brother, correct? Now, so we know this is real, right? Deuteronomy 28, and let's go to verse 1. Because we're going to get the justice. We're going to see what happened if you listen, what happened if you don't. Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 1. Read. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt diligently hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on a high above all nations of the earth. So what I want you two to understand, brother, my sister, God said that if his people listen to him, He's going to put them above other people. What does that mean? That means that God is not looking for equality for his people. He expects his people to rule. You understand? So while Martin Luther King was a, uh, a great man in our history, he was a great man in our history, the one thing he had wrong is, and he figured it out before he died because he said, I fear I have attached my people to a burning house. Right? But what God said was, my people, when they obey me, are going to be above everyone. Y'all heard that, right? Y'all heard that. Read that one more time. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord... Thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. So look at our people. We are out here to teach you that you are God's people. Right? Yeah. Who did, I want to question, and this is not for me. Um, yeah. Who, who does the Bible say Satan is? Uh, we're going to get to that. We're gonna get to, but I want to answer my sister's question because she doesn't believe God is real. We're going to show her that God and this Bible is a true book and God is a real God. So, God said his people will be above everybody. Look at the black man. Look at the black woman. Look at the Native American and Hispanic man. We are all one nation. But everywhere you go, are we above people? Look around this city. Look around you right now. Is, are black people above all people in Richmond? We gonna, we're not even going to worry about the world because the Bible, God said we'll be above all people on earth. But are we above all people on this street? Do we rule this street right here? Or are we going in and out of a store where a man from another nation is making millions selling you something you can cook for yourself? In a store that you could never set up in his neighborhood. That's right. You understand? So, now read verse 15. Verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this uh -huh. day, that all these curses, all these what? All these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now the Bible said that if you don't listen to your God, that he was going to put curses on you. And they were going to overcome you and overtake you. That means that no matter where you went, curses were going to be there. 
No matter what country you live in, God's people, curses are going to be there. No matter if you escape the poverty of your neighborhood, curses are on you if you're rich. That's why Le LeBron James bought a house and some regular white dude wrote nigger on his gate. That's why Oprah Winfrey went to France and a regular store clerk turned her, nigga, you're not coming in here. That is why you can never rise above the station that God has designated for your people. By example, nation is family. 